All right, let's connect and talk about a lefty. Phil Mickelson became the oldest major winner in the PGA yesterday. This was so cool. So cool. And in addition to how cool that was, he made one fan very, very happy. Watch this incredible shot on the fifth hole of the PGA Championship. He holds out from the bunker. Then watch as Mickelson gives the ball he just hit to a young fan in a wheelchair. Yet another reason to cheer for Lefty, who at 50 is the oldest player to win a major championship. Think that kid isn't celebrating today, too? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's he's great. stoked. That's, That's awesome. Cool. You know, and how these celebrities, just something small like that can make someone's just like lifetime. Mm -hmm. Imagine how that boy felt. Imagine how Phil Mickelson felt winning this 50. <laughs> What's the big deal? It's pretty incredible. What's the big deal? What, what, oh, my gosh. What can't 50-year-olds do that other people can't? I mean, even 50, Tiger Woods. Name one thing. 50 <laughs> is the new 40, Dan. So well, There you go. That hurts, too. 50 <laughs> is the new 15. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> at least mentally. Make Dan happy. Hey, let's see what else is trending this morning. A professor at MIT is going viral after this tweet he posted. It shows a crib he put up in his office earlier this month. This is what the tweet it says, my favorite new equipment purchase for the lab. It's a travel crib to go in my office so my graduate student can bring her nine-month-old little girl to work when necessary, and I get to play with her while mom gets some work done. It's a win-win. He says he had no idea that this would go viral, and it's just created this large discussion about the challenges mothers face in the workspace. And as we learned last week, Dan said, sometimes babies just happen. Babies happen. And... Yeah. You know, it's nice that they're creating these opportunities where you can bring the baby in. Yeah. Got to take care of those babies. What are you going to do? <laughs> I mean, another. honestly, <laughs> yeah. you just got to roll with it. Yeah, with and this guy's doing every that. aspect of life that just happens, you know? So just maybe we should just it. set up cribs all over the newsroom for yeah. when... We'll call, we'll call them Fox the 13 babies. Cribs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's take a look at today's Totally Random Poll we're asking you at home. Do you think it's okay to wear the same clothes two days in a row? Not do you do it, but is it acceptable? Most Utahns say heck yes, 63%. Um, and we've had a, a, several people writing in. Uh, Brad says, sure, as long as they're not dirty. Uh, Danielle says, I do for work unless I get them real dirty. And Jason says he does it all the time. I'm totally on board with this. It's acceptable for me. It's me too. If you have happens. a really good outfit in different places to go, <laughs> you just keep showing up in that really good outfit. Yeah, exactly. You better get some more use out of that, Carrie. Like that dress, you should definitely come to work tomorrow in that dress again. People might notice that. Day. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, they might not. <laughs> Gotta keep it undercover. Try to at least. That's the thing. Would it hurt your feelings if nobody noticed? <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs>